Matt Drudge has been one of the most influential individuals in conservative media for decades. The Drudge Report was my homepage starting in college, and for many, many years after that was probably the single website I used the most as a news aggregator and was a part of my daily routine. And something happened to it recently, and we'll get into all that, where now it's not what it used to be. That's a simple, simple way of putting it. We got somebody who's going to tell us about all of this. Uh, Matt Leshack is with us now. He has a book out, The Drudge Revolution, which you can get on Amazon. Matt, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me, Buck. I appreciate it. All right. So you're a, a biographer, in a sense, for Matt Drudge, correct? That's right. So did, did Matt sit down for you to talk to you about this, or is this an unauthorized biography? It's an unauthorized biography, Matt as you probably know, has been living in the shadows for nearly two decades. He's maybe given three interviews and has prided himself in not having his picture taken in, in I think, eight years. That's that's unusual. That is for sure. Tell us about about Matt Drudge's origins and how the website became as powerful as it is. Yeah, Matt Drudge's origins is is a fascinating story. Um, He came from a very dysfunctional family. His mother suffered from severe mental health issues. His father disowned him at a young age. And he was really a scrapper. Um, He rose to prominence, at least in the early days of the internet, um, by working as a CBS gift shop clerk. And he was able to figure out that the Nielsen ratings were being deposited into the trash a day before they were released publicly. And he, he... try to pay attention to when the custodial staff will come in and knew that there was a window where he could go in, get the uh, Nielsen ratings out of the trash, post it online. And from there, he slowly continued to grow his his website by, by in the early days, getting exclusive information, a, a lot of times on Hollywood stories. Huh. What were the big, what were the biggest breaks in the early days for Drudge? He found out that Connie Chun was going to be fired before she did. Um, he got Bob Dole's running mate, right? It was, it was it, a, lot of, a lot of Hollywood things, though, because what, what he would do is try to keep his ear to the ground as a gift shop clerk. And he'd have Roseanne Barr walking in. He'd be in the orbit of Sybil Shepard. He'd be in the orbit of Jerry Seinfeld. Um, I believe he was also first to report Jerry Seinfeld's salary demands. So it's interesting because now people, and I, I, you know, your intro is what people are talking about. Why has Matt Drudge made this turn? And one of the points I, I try to emphasize with people is that Matt, he's always looked at through this political lens. But the reality is, you know, going through the research and looking at the Drudge Report over all these years and talking to over 200 people who I interviewed for this book, is that Matt's loyalty isn't to a political party or some ideology. His loyalty is to his website. And people don't really understand this. So let me give you an example. Andrew Breitbart worked for Matt as an AM editor for many years, was there from the very beginning. And in early 2008, Andrew Breitbart would be posting stories. Do you remember the Reverend Wright story? Yes, of course. Well, he would post Reverend Wright stories, and Matt, from whatever location he was at, would take them down and replace them with something more favorable to Obama. And this happened in, uh, with a number of different stories. And unlike, unlike Matt, Andrew was a real true believer in his form of conservatism. Um, and eventually he picked up the phone and he called Matt and he said, Why, what is, what's going on here? And Matt's response was very telling. He said, an Obama presidency might be horrible for the country, but it sure would be great for my website. And, you know, it's hard to argue with at least part of that. I mean, Matt, you'd be challenged to find more than a handful of people who did better than Matt Drudge under the Obama administration. For example, um, I mean, I think his net worth right now is worth north of $100 million. So what was the Drudge Report making a year? I mean, I'm really curious. What was the Drudge Report estimated to be making in revenue year in and year out during the Obama years? So that, that information is not public, but what was public was his page views. And they were, um, they were at an all-time high. I mean, he was doing great, not just in page views, but in influence. And, you know, so people now are asking, why Why has Matt made this left word till? And I would ask him to reexamine their premise. I don't think Matt was ever, he describes himself as libertarian, but his website was never 
a political appendage to him. It was always a business. And, you know, whether this calculate, he's making a business calculation right now, and whether it pays off is, it's anybody's guess. But I'm confident based on his history and, and the people who know him best that that's exactly what's happening right now. Speaking of Matt Leshak, he is the author of The Drudge Revolution. Uh, Matt, what, what, was the, what were some of the more interesting things that you found out for this book about, about Matt Drudge? I mean, there are so many, you know, I, so just by way of background, I found out about the Drudge Report early on. I think I was a freshman in college, and it just became a place that I started going to at a very young age. And so it, it, when I think about this, it had a major influence on my thinking, not just because of the, you know, because of the headlines and the, the story that was told just by the selection, the editorial selection of what to post and how to describe what's posted, but also it was a gateway to so much else in conservative. I found Breitbart. I found Town Hall. I found all these different sites early on. You know, I already knew about National Review, right? But there were all these other things that I found out about really because of the the Drudge Report. Um, you mentioned influence before. I, give us some sense of, of how this guy, I mean, I, the Drudge Report was profoundly influential on my thinking about certainly conservative media and politics in this country. Can you just put into context for us either stories you've heard from people about that or just a way for us to think about how this website that really does look like it's from 1995 and is a very straightforward concept was really pushing the national conversation a lot of the time. You're, you're, you're hundred percent right. And one of the reasons I wanted to write this book was I, I believe in this generation, there's no individual who's had more of an impact on the way we consume information than, than Matt Drudge. And the story of his background has never been told. I mean, Matt rose up through sheer came from, a, a, as I mentioned, a highly dysfunctional family. I mean, I went through tons of court papers that outlined just a really sad uprising. Um, and nobody gave this guy anything. And he would rise up and essentially usurp and flip on its head the established media of the day. And we're all sort of, all these websites that you're mentioning, all these conservative websites, we're all sort of living in that shadow right now. And there's all this talk about, um, you know, media and, and the interest in and kind of how it got here. So I would contend it really began with Matt Drudge. Um, as far as some of the more interesting facts that I, I, I found as young, his, his narrative as a child, his love of dance music, just sort of this picture that emerged of a very colorful character as a, as a teenager. But I was also able to get Joseph Curl, who never spoke on the record about Matt before, and as Matt Drudge's only full-time employee he ever had. He was able to outline to me the entire philosophy of the drug report and the nuts and bolts on exactly how it worked. And one of the things that Matt told him was, we don't ride the wave at the drudge report. We create the wave. So what we're going to do is we're going to find that story that matters to the people. We're posting it. Rush Limbaugh is going to talk about it in his A block segment. And then at the White House, uh, they're going to be the, they're going to be asking about it at the press briefing. That's going to spawn 400 more stories, but we're off of it and we're on to the next thing. And that's how they operated. That's how Matt operated. And I think his, um, his impact, as you described it, you know, like you're, you're, you, you've created this large conservative platform. And like many other people, it largely began with you clicking on Matt Drudge. Yeah. I, I've got to tell you the, the, the three, it's kind of, I've never even really, I've never said this from the show. I mean, I'd say the three, um, most influential conservatives on my thinking in terms of people who are in the media, Rush Limbaugh, um, Ann Coulter, and Matt Drudge. Yeah, and you remember, uh, I think you're a little younger than me, at least you look at it. Um, the days, it's like three now. Wait, 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 Mr. Leshack, how old are you? Let's just get it out there. Uh, I'm 48. 48? Yeah, you're 40. Man, I don't want to hear it. Yeah, I'm I'm 38. I'm 38. I'm a little behind you, but go ahead. You were saying. Um, you know, well, so okay, you still kind of remember then the networks when media was controlled, just a small handful of people, ABC, NBC, CBS, a few editors, really decided what the news narrative was, and you know, people had stories about JFK, people had stories about Reagan, and they never made press because the gatekeepers of the news decided. Well, Matt Drudge came along. And when he, that Newsweek was going to spike, 
when Lucien Goldberg called him, it was this perfect marriage kind of technology and this individual. And from that point forward, I would say nothing's been the same anymore. The gatekeepers are on. It's off to races. Yeah. It, you can trade that moment Matt Rudge clicked on enter. You know, it's it's fascinating. We, we, we wish we had a, a we're, we're losing some of you on the connection here. But look, the book sounds fascinating. I, I'm I was uh, excited to talk to you about this because I think that Drudge is one of the, the most influential and least understood people in media. And, and that's certainly something you deal with in the book. Guys, Matt Leshack, uh, The Drudge Revolution is his book. It's on Amazon now. Matt, great work, man. Let us know how the book goes. Come back and talk to us. Hey, thanks, Buck. I appreciate it. Hey, Team Buck, thank you so much for watching the first on YouTube. If you like this video, please click that little thumbs up button so then it will log as liked. And also, if you want to see more great content from the first, please click subscribe.